guys, it's his gag girl reporting from the swamp. I wanted to give a little heads up to everyone about the Super Team Vape Man. Uh, there have been some chuckles out there, people thinking that it's just ungodly large and would look funny on a Joy 510 and couldn't imagine taking it out in public. So I just thought I'd make a little video, my first. Everybody forgive me, we'll all have a little fun tonight. And we're going to show you what this little bad boy can do. This is it. That's the little sight glass window. You can see I've been using it. You see the juice sitting in it. Over here's where we'll screw in the body. On this side we have the outer hole closer to the edges where your juice comes into this well up top, drips down into your attic. This other little hole is the air hole. It is actually offset, you can see this little lip, so that when you're dripping, if you're doing it while you're hitting your vaporizer, you don't suck up juice into your mouth. Let's get this little thing attached, wipe my hands off, and see what we've got going on. Here's the bottle I'm going to use. It's a little five milliliter bottle. I'm having a hard time finding them, just I've ordered I can't tell you, I'm the owner of about 250 bottles that don't fit the Super 2 Vape Mate. Had four on hand that do. Mad Vapes has some little 5 mils that'll work. Here's some fuel line tubing that I've purchased that actually does fit. And it is, let's look at the receipt here, a 4 milliliter millimeter by 2.4 millimeter tubing. I've cut the end at about a 45 degree angle. Don't know if you can see that with all the juice on it. A tad longer than the bottle. What happens is when you insert it into the tip, you see it's in there quite snug. When you start to put the drip tip on, the juice automatically feeds up the tube. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Vapen, V-A-P-N. You have really saved a lot of us, a lot of effort in direct dripping while we drive with this little modification in the bottles. Take your bottle, screw it in. As always, wipe your mess up. It's feeding so well, it is automatically, as I put the bottle on, feeding through the vape main. That's how well this works. Thank you, David. Got my 510 atomizer. I'm going to pop it on. Super T contoured stainless steel drip tip. Gotta love them. Pop it on. Click, click, click. P18, wonderful little device. Let's take a minute here. We'll pop out the battery. Eighteen six fifty twenty nine hundred ma. Don't know if you can see that with all the glare on the screen. It's an AW. Great little battery. Lasts me all day long. I take out my Super T P18 with the Vape Mate. I always take an extra atomizer and an extra battery because you just never know. Haven't had to use them yet, but I'm always ready to go. Lasts me all day long. Let's get the Vape Mate screwed on. One of the things I have learned, if I line the bottle up with the indention of the horns where you're going to press it with your pinky, when you pull it out to use it, you know if the bottle is to the side, then your button will be depressed properly and the unit will hit. Turn it around so you can see where it's feeding. You see the juice in the site? Here we go. A 
as I was screwing the bottle on, it automatically started feeding. I mean, it just really, it doesn't get any better than this. It was originally made not to have a tube in there. And when your bottle was low, you would have to tilt it, squeeze, come back up, wait for it to drip, and you were good to go. Vaping came up with the idea to put the tube in, and if you have the right bottle, it will feed the vape mate to the last drop of what's in your bottle. Unbelievable hits every time. Just, David has done a wonderful job with the vape mate. Perfect feeding system, little mod, as we all love to do. We all like to stay busy, give them another little squeeze. Don't want to feed it too much. You can flood the atomizer. You can get too much juice in the well, and it will come back up through the drip tip if you put too much in there. That's just the nature of dripping. Put too much in there, you can get some in your mouth. Slow it down, take your time. You get a perfect hit every time. It's not huge. That's the P18. Here's an Ego. P10. And for grins and giggles, those of you who want to see it on a Joy 510, I'm going to do it for you. Give me a moment. Let's take it off of the P18. Throw it on the Joy 510. No, you're going to love this. Here we go. Manual Joy 510 with a bait mate. Unbelievable vapor, great feed, it works. It, you can do this one-handed. Joy 510, little squeeze, in goes your juice, hit the button. Perfect every time. Take off the Joy 510. Those of you who want to see it on the Ego with the kind. <clears throat> Here's your Ego. Not going to stand up on its own. Even with the tiny little bottle I have, and it's smaller than the Mad Vapes bottle. Mad Vapes bottle works. There's your difference in the size. Let me pull it back. There you go. My bottle is a bit smaller. I can't find them. I'm still looking for them. I'll locate them at some point and let everyone know. It actually does a self-feed when you pull and take a hit. There's no reason to constantly be squeezing the bottle. It just, it works every single time. Let's put on the P10. Gorgeous little unit. Love it. Great for special occasions. Take it to weddings. Take it out to dinner. It's just gorgeous. Perfect vapor every time. The juice I'm using is Vapor Bombs Oba Oba. Stuff works great. I'm going to throw in a little twist here. I told you a little bit about the vape main. I've talked a little bit about Vapor Bombs Oba Oba. There's something new on the market that I'm excited about and I'm enjoy using. They are the e -Cigs Pyrex Glass Drip Tips. This one is tapered. They fit into the vape mate with no problem whatsoever. 
They feel great. You can see your juice if you drip from the tip. Just slide right down. I haven't had any kickback in the juice. They feel great to the lips. There's no heat transfer. And when you clean them, you know you've got them clean because, of course, you can see through it. It's glass, quick, and easy. As I said, that's the tapered tip. Now, they do have a regular tip. I have found a small problem with the regular tip. The bottom ledge that the O-ring goes on is a little too short. I've talked to John over at the eSig, and they're going to work on making that ledge a little longer. It tends to pop off a little too easy, just a slight pressure sideways will remove it from any atomizer and even from the bait mate. But it really feels good to the mouth. They have them in clear and cobalt blue. I bought one that was tapered and a regular one in clear just because, well, they were glass and I wanted to see the juice going to bring. It's really cool to watch the vapor come up into the clear drip tip and you know that you've taken the full hit. They're really nice. They're easy to take care of. I've dropped this one because it comes off so easy three or four times onto the wood floor and it's still good to go. So that's my quick little review on the Vape Mate Oba Oba and e -cigs, the e -cigs, clear drip tips. This is his Gator Girl signing off from the swamp. Talk to you later.